Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, you know how much I love spontaneity. Uh, my live audience, welcome to the room, to all the folks watching back in their rooms. Glad to have you. My name is Jason. I am your cruise host, and welcome to your first full edition of All Access Pass. Now, every single day, I get the opportunity to come out here, to sit on this stage, and go right across there. We're not shooting a show or anything. Uh, I get the chance to... Uh, <laughs> Obviously, it's the first one, so I get the chance to welcome some of your favorite stars uh, up on this stage right here, and today is certainly no exception. We wanted to start off with the three loveliest ladies on board. Do me a favor, put your hands together, and welcome Sister Sledge to the stage. <laughs> you don't have to duck. You don't have to duck. God bless you. <laughs> Come on up. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, my love. Thank you very much. Excellent. Please welcome in all these three lovely ladies. Thank you for being here. You brought your own water. You're very resourceful. I appreciate that. We, we brought some for you as well. Uh, now, first and foremost, uh, Sister Sledge, obviously, I haven't seen them on stage yet, but you're going to. You're going to quite soon, matter of fact. Yeah. And uh, Debbie, would you do us the honor of introducing these two lovely ladies to your left, and then uh, we'll switch the game. But you introduce these two lovelies. Certainly. This is the lovely Camille. This is my daughter, Camille. <laughs> and this is the lovely Tanya, my adopted daughter. <laughs> And one of you two lovely ladies introduced to us the goddess here at this end of the... Uh, oh. You're on. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. I'm on. Yeah. This is the beautiful and talented and amazing Debbie Sledge, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> also known as Mom. <laughs> yeah. A.K.A. Mama. We, we were joking backstage. Debbie has a lot of daughters at this point. She, and sons, matter of fact. Uh, now, obviously, Sister Sledge is known as a family. And you're still a family, which is wonderful. Tell us, before we go back into the good old days of the beginnings of Sister Sledge, tell us about how you're still a family and who else is in your band and around the show. Tell us a little bit about what we see today. Well, uh, first of all, Camille has been here. She's been, like, stage ready since she was born. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for her chance. Mom, She's put me a really mom. good drill Just sergeant. Waiting. I mean, mentor. Mother. Yeah, yeah. mother. <laughs> And uh, so, and, and we're just, we're just so, so proud and honored to have Tanya with us. She's just a tremendous artist, and she's just lovely. She's sunshine. We call her sunshine. <laughs> and we have this, you know, the band has been with us so many years that they are, they are actually family. They are really. But there's family. some sledges in the band too, right? Is and, that correct? And yeah. yes, yeah. we have some new additions. We have. Um, my sister's son, Thaddeus, right. Thaddeus uh, is with us, and he's performing with us, uh, so he's not here now, but you'll see him on the performance. And we also have my son, David, my youngest son, David, who's performing with us. So very proud. And we have a special guest with us on this cruise, and that is Shaka McRae, George McRae's son. He's going to be performing with us. Yeah, we're all, we're so excited. We're so excited. Family's growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We, we were actually growing. joking backstage. I said, well, thank goodness, because we didn't want to title it, uh, we were family. We, we wanted <laughs> yeah. to keep it together. Uh, Debbie, if you wouldn't mind, take us back a few years to Sister Sledge. How does it come to be? Tell us a little bit about the beginnings of the group. Well, we, uh, Actually, we started out with, with their aunts, <laughs> um, my daughter, um, my sisters, and me. We're we're actually family, and we're still uh, they're still performing, and they're mm -hmm. going. They're very busy, and um, <clears throat> so that was Joni, Kathy, Kim, and myself. And then we also have another sister. That's Carol. Um, she performed with us every now and then in, in, back in the past. And uh, they're all doing great, except Joni is doing great in heaven right now. Yes, we, we, uh, she passed away in 2017, and uh, she just gave us so much richness that I mean, it's still with us. Just uh, everything that she brought to our lives is just so rich. And, um, and I appreciate it more every day. 
Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you mentioned uh, backstage, we were talking, and you mentioned there's a fundraiser that you're doing for Joni. Yes. Tell and, us a little bit about that. Right. In 2021, we are doing a fundraiser for Joni, and it's called, it, it, we formed a foundation, it's called Nothing is Greater Than Love Foundation, and we're doing it in cooperation with the Phoenix School of Hip Hop, and Camille can tell you more about that, but we will be, uh, we'll be recording her music, and we'll be bringing a live concert, a fundraiser concert, and that will be in 2021 of September, in, in honor of Joni. That's wonderful. So Camille, tell us a little bit more. You were volunteered by your mother, okay, I mean your I drill sergeant. To, yeah. Um, so the School of Hip Hop is a, me and my husband's nonprofit organization. We began about five years ago now. And we bring music lessons and music knowledge about the culture to um, kids who are less fortunate and maybe can't afford music lessons or instruments. And we go into the schools and we do workshops and we send teaching artists out into the community centers and youth centers in disenfranchised neighborhoods in Phoenix. And now we just opened a branch in Philadelphia as well. It's oh, our hometown. Hey, your hometown, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's where all of our family is, Philly. Mm -hmm. We're excited. That's very cool. Philly's in the house. Yeah. I know yeah. we got some Philly folks around. Yeah, yeah we always have some Philly folks with us. <laughs> Philly in the house. <laughs> yep. One or two, one or two. <laughs> Uh, so obviously coming from a family where all of the sisters were, were musical, where you were all vocalists and probably, I'm sure there's an instrument or two back there. Uh, what drove you all as a family? Was it your parents? Was it inspiration? What, what drove you to all be into the music industry or to even be interested well, I, in it? I should say. I can say that we're, we, we all grew up in a, our whole family's musical. You know, we had aunts and uncles who were singing when we were really young. And, um, and it was always, music has always been a very happy time in our family. A very, you know, it, it unifies and it's just fun. And um, so, and we also grew up oh, hearing, the, hearing the music uh, that, we're, that we're playing on this, on this cruise, which is awesome. We're just so great, grateful oh, yeah. to be here. Oh my goodness. We just got back from the pool deck and we saw yeah. George McRae and George. Uh, everybody. Oh. I mean, Maxine, that was so, did you guys see it? Yeah. Right. Out there singing so everywhere. good. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. So much fun. I think that's fun that you're fans too. Oh you know, yeah, it, we're not fans. <laughs> as it's great when the artists are fans of the other Absolutely. artists. And yeah. I think yeah. that's one of the things that's cool about the disco cruises. You do find all the artists, regardless of what rooms they're in, whether you've seen them or not, whether you recognize them not in stage clothes or not. The Jacksons are out, Sister Sledge is out, the Commodores are out, everybody's out watching everybody. Yeah, you may not yeah. recognize them, but they're out there and they're sitting around just like you are, cheering and dancing and having a good time. Yeah, we're it's thrilled, we're thrilled. It's something that's very yeah. cool. So when you are, how, how old, uh, not how old, how many years ago, how old are you roughly in the group? How when, old am I? Not now. I would <laughs> never ask a lady her age. Oh my God. I would never ask a lady her age. So how much do you weigh? Did you see us wear like, my <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, how young are you all when, when Sister Sledge starts? Well, actually, we started pretty young. Yeah. We started pretty young. Um, I love you, and I'm gonna going to tell you as a professional to, to use school. that microphone for me, Debbie. We're <laughs> oh, sorry. We were still going to school, actually. We, were, we started pretty young. Um, actually, when, uh, when we started, I, believe it or not, I was extremely shy. We can and I didn't that. even know I could sing until they, you know, somebody put me in front of an audience, and I said, "I better. I'm up here now. <laughs> I better do something." You got two choices at that point, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have two options. <laughs> two options turned out okay. <laughs> Clearly, uh, yeah, I, I'd say yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, and it was fun. It was. And it was what made great. you decide to do it? I mean, it's one thing to be musical, right? There are there are a million musical families out there. People that sing at Christmas, people that sing at holidays, or people that just play the piano and have the kids sing along. It's a whole different ball game when that family becomes internationally yeah. renowned recording artists, right? There is, we had Marlon up here yesterday of the Jacksons and had a similar conversation. What turns, what, what's the turning point for Sister Sledge when you go from just a musical family to, wow, we can actually do this for real? Well, I think that was the, that was the statement that came we can actually get paid for this. 
and we I said, this is fun, but we can actually get paid for having fun. Yeah. This is great. I was going to say grandma. Yeah. Grandma was the one. Also, please, Go please. Ahead. Your, your mother's being very demure. Please tell us the <laughs> truth here, Camille. No, the great grandma, who I'm named after, so I know a lot about her. Um, she was an opera singer, and she's the one that got them together and told them to sing in church and at different, in front of, of course, different family members and different groups of her friends, right? Mm -hmm. And they were so good that they started to get asked to do other things because they could all sing. I mean, they were. You guys know. <laughs> and then I think, I really believe this, that my grandmom, your mom, was the first momager. She Mom was momager. the one who was. Mom manager, if you're not familiar with that. It's a momager, if you're not yeah. familiar. Yep. Yeah. She was the one. And she was just like very, very, um, very strategic strong. and very strong. Yeah, very strong woman. And she led them into stardom to me. I was. Mm -hmm. I'm reflecting in my own head. Please. <laughs> you know, we're all family here, aren't well, we? <laughs> you know, we were talking about all of us being fans. Yeah. Which, you know, my, I'm, my story is a bit unique within this group sure. only because, so I'm not technically, you know. Well, you're an adopted I'm daughter. Obviously, right, right, I'm an adopted yeah. daughter. Yeah. <laughs> but I started out as a fan. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been singing all my life as well. But so imagine what it feels like to get a phone call that you're actually going to sing with people that you admire and respect so much. So I, I still, I'm a little corny like this. I still have the voicemail on my phone oh, <laughs> from the day that? they called me. You can never me. get a new phone now. <laughs> right? How do you get that voicemail back? So it's just so funny. I still have it from our musical director saying, okay, so you have your passport, right? Because we're about to go. And um, wow. so to, to be able to sing and tour with people that I admire so much and I've learned so much and we've all really grown as a family and continue to, to grow closer and just create, you know, awesome things. So That's I'm wonderful. Mutual. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you have, yeah, by all means. Uh -huh. and, and you have a newer project, correct? Is that what I understand? You are, you're, might potentially have some music that maybe people could look out for? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're very excited because we're going into the studio in uh, March and in April to record uh, Joni's music. Oh. It's, it's, it's a music that she started for Sister Sledge right before she passed away. And <coughs> it, and it's really taken us this long to regroup because uh, she was such a powerhouse and such a strong force in, in, in our group. Um, but she wrote some music that is just so dynamic and we would not be uh, we would not be doing justice if we don't do this. So, so we're yes. going to take some time off. We're going in the studio March and April. Wonderful. And we're going to be coming out with music by Joni Sledge. And uh, and you have some. You how many dates a year do you still do? Like as as sister uh, as sister Sledge, how many dates a year do you do on, on an average year? What, like well, maybe last it's year. easier to say when are we home? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's really easier to say. Yeah, yeah. We did enough. over uh, yeah. maybe over we we did over like sixty seven shows last year. That's a lot of shows. Which yeah, we were bouncing all over the place. So. It's <laughs> funny because if you're not in the industry, what, when someone says sixty seven shows, you also have to think travel to, travel back, that's travel right. from. And wow, one yeah. show is not just a day, and then you're a day here. Yeah. It's it's that's multiple right. days of building and loading yeah. and sound check and Absolutely. line check and all the things. So. So wow, that's still a lot of shows. And you're, you have some things coming just after the cruise. Matter of fact, you have some more, uh, some tour dates coming up, correct? Right, we'll, we'll be leaving for Saudi Arabia. After Saudi this. Arabia, how yeah. cool is that? Yeah, uh, we're excited about that. That's a biggie. Yeah, <laughs> I would yeah. say that's yeah. Yeah. And then that's after that, we'll, we'll be going into the studio. Then you're going right into the yeah. studio yeah. after that. And then the, the rest of the tour, will, it, it's, very, it's very busy after that. So. So we grabbed those yeah. two spots in yeah. March and April. Well, we grabbed your two spots for the disco cruise. That's so right. we, <laughs> yeah. so we snuck in there. We <laughs> snuck in there and, and carved out uh, a little bit of this. Uh, Debbie, I want to ask you a favor. If you look to your left and you mm -hmm. see your daughter sitting next to you, when you look at, at this lovely young lady who is now 
uh, not only a daughter, but probably represents almost as a sister uh, being in, in, this, in this band. What do you see, what do you appreciate in what your daughter brings to the table? Oh, I'm just so, so tremendously, I'm so proud. Um, she is a dynamic performer. I, I'm, I'm amazed. And both of these are, both of these young ladies are just tremendous. But I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm just amazed at what they can do individually and together. But individually, they're already blowing my mind. So, I mean, Camille is, is just dynamic. And sometimes I forget that I'm on the stage too because I'm just so, <laughs> I'm like, look at her. She's going. These guys, these, these, these ladies are just so dynamic and beautiful and strong. And their voices, they've gone beyond me, okay? I'm doing some uh, vocal arranging, but anything I some, can imagine they can do. Right. And that's just awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> Where's those tissues I you know. brought out here? I know. <laughs> <laughs> really? Stop. Well, <laughs> it, it actually, uh, Camille, I was asking, I was actually going to ask you to do the same thing for Tanya. When you look to oh. your left... Obviously, She's gonna make me cry. obviously, there is a mother-daughter connection here. There are there are uh, brothers and, and nephews and, and kids of the Sledge family in the band. You are the unique one on the stage at the moment, and you said yourself you are a fan, Camille. When you look to your left, what do you say? What do you think? And what do you see in in Tanya? Not only on the stage, but it, uh, on the stages you share around the world. I I hope that I've told you this enough times before, <laughs> but I absolutely adore Tanya. She is like a real sister to me. Tanya is a dynamic performer. She's amazing. She's always full of light and sunshine and happiness and joy. And she just has that, that, that spirit of joy. And you'll see that, all of you on stage, because it just shines. And she is so professional. And that's one thing that I really admire about you, Tan, is that you're just, your professionalism is just top notch. And I've learned a lot from Tanya as well as well as, as my mom. I'm just um, really excited and happy to be working with two people that I totally admire and that I'm a fan of. I always tell my mom I'm her biggest fan, and she always tells me she's my biggest fan. And sometimes I'll have a show with my band in Phoenix, and she'll come to the shows, and you know, vice versa. We'll go to Tanya's shows, you know. So I really just, I love you. I, I love do. You too. I love you. We really are. <laughs> That's the best thing about this is that we really do all genuinely appreciate each other and love each other. Well, and Tanya, I was going to give you the opportunity oh to actually say something, too, because you said yourself you were a fan. Yeah. And I think that's a unique perspective to bring into a group, right? Yes. Because you listen to these ladies. You yes. listen to Sister Sledge sing. I mean, obviously, their original records on through. Mm -hmm. So in your mind, you have a sound, right? You've right. heard their sound. You know their sound. You probably right. individually know the sisters' sounds yes. as well as a true fan. Mm -hmm. What is it like and what do you see when you look down at the end <laughs> and you see this fabulous young lady? Well, it's so funny because, I mean, you know, we can't help make references to, obviously, you know, yeah, the, you know, the, the adopted sister. But I see mom in so many ways, you know, after working together. And you are, you are a true reflection of, of the love that we feel through the music. And... That's something that I appreciated as a fan, and then and then to be a part of the project because it's backed up by those feelings. You know, it's not just it's yeah. not just songs, and I've learned a lot, so much uh, as an artist, as a vocalist, as a human being. I've learned so much from Debbie. It, it, you know, they're describing me as a light, but when Debbie walks in the room, you feel light. <laughs> the room actually brightened up uh, yeah. when she came in. I yeah. saw it. The sun, the sun <laughs> we popped. We make jokes all the time higher. when yeah. we're on the road. Yeah. We go to like places that you're supposed to expect rain and clouds. And <laughs> when Debbie gets off the plane, there's sunshine. <laughs> and then it literally dries up and it gets beautiful out. But yeah, so um, that's, that's something that I, I just hold dear to my heart is to, to know that that's one thing I can always rely on no matter what's going on with the shows, the touring, how tired we are, whatever, when you're in Debbie's presence, you feel loved, you feel you know, ready to go, you feel refreshed and ready to hit the stage and, and do this. That's you know? very cool, so that's I very li cool. I like that's that. an important thing. I think she's, 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 <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's 
At least you know now it's not fake, what you see on stage, right? As you have some, sometimes you watch acts and you're like, yeah, they're not really like that. There's no way they're really like that. Uh, now, Debbie, you guys have had a lot of hits over the years, obviously, uh, Sister Sledge, but you have some monster hits out there. What are some of your favorite memories of, of your biggest hit songs? Like, how did they come to be? Like, let's, let's start with the obvious one. I guess the obvious one is We Are Family, yes, okay? That's, that's I mean, song. that's, yeah. that's transcendent. That's a tran there are certain songs that are transcendent. It doesn't matter when they came out or what they, at the t like, they literally cover the test of time. I mean, that, that's a song that today means as much to people as it, I'm sure it meant then, and that's gotta mean something special to you. It, it, we're just amazed, we're so amazed, because it has, it's, it's, it's transcended time. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And uh, you think, to, we, would, we could, would never have imagined, we would never have imagined the impact that that song, not only that song, has had on, 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 on music, on the area of music, but on, on us. That impact that it has on uh, the person singing it, because it's truth. Mm. And it, you, everyone can feel that. You can feel that when uh, when you when you're singing that song, when you're singing along with us, it's truth. And that's and it actually, just makes you feel good. I was sorry to interrupt. I was going to ask you exactly that when you perform that in front of all these amazing crowds, and I get to look out right now at this, you know, this live studio audience. But you know, you're singing in front of thousands of people, and you're going to sing in front of all these folks here in the next couple of days. Uh, to see everyone in the audience know every single you could stop oh, yeah. singing and the yeah. audience would carry it the rest of the way without yeah. missing the lyrics yeah. Yeah. that's got to be a cool feeling that's, that's got to mean awesome. something in your heart that's in that so moment cool. that is so cool yeah, yeah it's it's wonderful it's so warming it's the great. best part of that is when they no matter what country we're in they don't even yeah. speak english <laughs> but they're right. singing the words of the song that's when you know it's gotten into their you know someone's heart it's, it's just, that amazes me. That continues to amaze me. That's my favorite thing about that song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there's a truth to that, right? Because people almost, at, at times, and I know we have folks probably in the crowd and surely watching on TV from other countries, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we, the disco cruise is our most uh, multicultural yeah. cruise that we do. It is, I, I say it from stage, and I said it last night, it's, it's black, it's white, it's blue, it's green, it's, it's gay, it's straight, it's, it's you know, the hyper-religious on one side to the not at all on the other, it's the, the big folks and the little folks, and the, 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 it, it's everybody. And it's one of the cool things is everybody really does get along on this cruise. And I don't know if we have an anthem yet, but yours is right there at the top of, of, what, <laughs> got one. We got of one. what we do. It, it, <laughs> did you, it speaks you to that, it. right? It speaks to that. Yeah. Did you recognize that the song had that kind of potential in the beginning? I mean, did you recognize that that could potentially be something that people gravitated to X amount of years and decades we, later? We had no idea. <laughs> we had no idea. We, it, it would never have crossed our minds that we'd be sitting here today, 40 years later, and this song would have this much impact. And it's still, and it keeps getting bigger. And I think it's because what I said in the beginning, it's. It is. It rings true. It, it touches everyone's heart because that's something that's true. You can relate to that. It doesn't matter who you are, where it came from. You are family, and you know that. That's true. That's a wonderful message. That's a great message. For those of you that are in the audience, uh, last night's shows, actually, that's one of my big messages always on the Disco Cruise is exactly that is I tell everyone... I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care, right? And that's my line for every <laughs> disco cruise. I don't care where you're from. I don't care who you are. Right. I don't care. All, right now, you're from here. Right now, right. you're on the disco cruise. Right now, you are one big group. Right now, we're here to have a good time and get along and, and have some fun. And, you know, I call it checking it at the gangway. Check your baggage at the gangway, right? We're here to have a good time. And your, that song specifically, I mean, it really does, it speaks to that. It's something that... I think you said it a moment ago, people look for something in a song, right? They look for a lyric, they look for a feeling, they look for something to relate to. Mm -hmm. And when you look around, you may not look exactly like the person next to you, but you can, you can be a family yeah. in that moment, right? You, you can. Right. And we don't have fans, we have fam. <laughs> <laughs> we have fam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That's very cool. Well, before we let you go, I know we're closing in on our 30 minutes. Uh, if people in this room and on TV, which I know there are many, many, many that are your fam, uh, want to stay in contact, want to keep in touch, want to know where you're going next, want to know how to get your new music as it's coming out soon, how, how can they keep in touch? How can they find you? Oh, wait. Well, we, you can find us at sistersledge.com. You can find us on our... our um, you, you guys know better. For a singer, well, yeah, she doesn't yeah. like the microphone at all. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we have Instagram, Sister Sledge Official underscore. Sister Sledge Official underscore. Uh, at Twitter, we're at... Sistersledge.com, um, you can find all of those things. Yeah. All that if you hashtag Slegendary, you'll find all kinds of things. Oh, yeah, hashtag Slegendary, you'll find everything. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. that on your <laughs> hashtag. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you both off. What? Did, what did you just we're, ask me? We're gonna give you a little, a little vocal. <laughs> I'm sorry uh -oh. to cut you uh -oh. off, but I had to. I well, had the drill to, sergeant to, has spoken. Uh, okay. Yes, please. We have our orders. I let me lean okay, away. Let's see. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Little tribute to one of our favorite artists. Yes. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. 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 Look at my mind floating away. <laughs> And for the record, that's on microphones that are, that are EQ'd for vocal, not for singing. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your gift and your presence with us on this stage and on this cruise. It, it really means thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. Thank, thank you for having us. You're fantastic. Jason, Do me a you. favor. Please tell me thanks, Sister Sledge, for being a part of the Ultimate Disco Cruise. Yeah.